Hey guys, Crystal here, and we are jumping into another episode of Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, in our last episode, we cured a deadly, deadly plague that we had to take care of. There was some voice acting and stuff like that. It was great, and we had a lot of fun. Weird quest to be doing in this time in the world. Um, <laughs> point of order before we begin, you're going to notice that there is going to be music that didn't sound like the music before. Uh, if you've played this game, you know very, very well. It is because I have disabled all licensed music. Uh, that was something I had to do to continue playing this. So I will be using royalty-free music and stuff like that um, going forward, just like I have done in the previous episodes where I voiced over the lines to get around all the copy music playing. This time, they will be talking, the royalty music will be going, and everything will be great. Enough of that housekeeping crap, though. Let's get started. And the reason why I said continue and not load game is because I had to make sure that said music was actually turned off. So, yeah. Here we are. Oop, wrong button. We want to see what we're doing next today. What are we doing next? Oh, yes. The Elizabeth Dane. Yep, because that is... These are both later... So, Elizabeth Dane, the Iron Caron Sarcophagus. We gotta go to the beach of Santa Monica. So that is where we are going to go. We just need to hail a cab. Uh, la la la. Now I also need to find a snack. That's very important. See, now the Tremere building looks obvious. In other ep in the other episodes we did, I couldn't find the darn place for like a solid hour. It was rough. But it was so, now that I know where it is, it's like, oh, it's just right there. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, oh, driver. Yeah. Just drive. Going back to Santa Monica. What's the hops, bro? Don't call me bro, bro. All right, uh, we need to go, let's say, to the beach. We know where that is. The beach is easy to find. Unless we end up on Main Street again like we did last time. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go this way. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into now. And I didn't get that snack. We keep getting arrested by the, like, or hunted by the cops, so I'm, like, kind of afraid to snack almost all the time now. Hey, another, who is this monkey? Hey, was that Mickey? Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my body. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. No problem, man. Now on, you need equipment, info, you come see what me. What is that behind him? Don't hesitate. You look like you're feeling better, dear. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. I'm proud of you, darling. Uh, I might need some equipment for this trip, dear. Ooh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He's got rounds. Well, we're gonna sell that. We are definitely gonna waste some money. Um, I need to check. Hold on. Ah! Four to forty-two. Definitely need the shotgun. Max fifty. Max hundred and twenty. I don't really like using guns too much, but it's just good to be prepared. Um, buy another one, and I'll buy... Oh no! Whoops. Can I buy these back? Uh, crap. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if we can... 
sell that. Sell our estrogen stuff. All kindred have an innate power to push their bodies normal. Sweet. That must have been what I got from, uh, from, um, Strauss. It's not gonna solve our problem, though, of me accidentally selling my gun. I tried to use the morphine. It didn't work last time, so we're just gonna sell one of them for now. And we're gonna buy back our gun. I know I could have just reloaded the save, but I kind of want to, like, limit the amount of times I do that. I figure that's fair. Alright, well then I guess I'm good. Thanks, man. Uh, anything, anything else? Do for you tonight? What's what's our what's our Mokavian friend have to I'm say? Saying. Forget what I say. Do you know anything about the murder on the pier, dear? Murder. Yes. The killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis and to the home of the stars. And then returns fulfilled and empty once again. Can you be a little more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. All right. Um, goodbye, dear. All right, so that gives us a clue as to what's going on in, um, with the beast. Um, the Carnival of Death quest. That'll definitely help us out. I hope there's snacks on board the Elizabeth Dane arms. And I, oh yeah, we just climb right up ladders. I'm gonna try to use command at least once. Yo, ah, oh, for Christ's sakes! Ah! Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor in chief, he's got to start working with me. <sighs> I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Ooh. We got some options. He didn't tell me this was a formal affair. Jeez. What kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Wow, you don't want to get on my bad side, Officer McDickbag. <laughs> I don't know if I want to intimidate him, though, even though my, intimida my intimidation's on point. Let's just do this before one of us has to take a swim. Take it easy, Lois Lane. This is still a badge you're talking to. All right. I am not 100% sure if that succeeded or failed. Um, let's get down to business, Barney. All right, look, I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Oh, you are lucky I don't eat you. Where do I go? Hold up a second. Heinz to Marsh, Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. 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 All one word. You getting all this? I got it, you prick. Now get a move on. And Thank don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. All right. All right. All right, so we're not going to eat that guy because he's kind of important. Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? All right, real quick. Um, so you got some points. I want to spend some points. I want to get my investigation up. Okay, come on this 
way. I wasn't really listening to what he said, so... again there's is this rust or blood guys cool uh we're gonna quick save real fast because i know what he said and yet i want to just investigate so i'm not actually a journalist There's blood everywhere. Shipping manifest. Got it. It is something that what's his butt wanted, right? All right. I don't want to lose any progress, and I'm too afraid that somebody's going to eat. Fine. Please. Shit. Stop. Here I got you. Ah. I didn't expect to get ow seen. Shh. Just gonna hide like right here. Yeah, you know like things are bad ideas. That was a bad idea. You good? Think we're good. So we're not going that way. Go back this way. Boy. So we're gonna go this way. Or not. Because the prince said not to go on a killing spree. And I even think the Anarchs would be upset about that. But he said go down to the stairs to your right. have to figure this out. So we got the shipping manifest. Oh yeah, that door's not gonna open. Maybe it's up. So make sure that I'm not going to miss anything. All right, let's do some investigating. Reports. Weather. Whoops, I saw that. Weather. All right, location. We got a coordinates. The sea is calm. The air temperature is not so bad. All right, status. Engines off. Engine off. Locks locked. Okay. Log. Going to get in. Skill too low. Difficulty of six. But the... Hold on. Log. 
There we go. Light. Yes. But I have the password. That that's the password, right? Alright, um. I have that password. Stupid thing. Deck cams on. Okay. Unlock records. Do I want to start the engines? I feel like that both of those are a bad idea. Um, yeah, quit. All right, let's see what we got here. What is that? Oh, that's the broken container with the sarcophagus in it. Something broke out. That is definitely something that broke out. All right, what's the quest say? I okay, unlocked the records when we did that. All right. We did what we set out to do. And I definitely think it's a bad idea to go investigating any further. But we're going to go the last round first instead of the prince. Because <laughs> we are anarchs! So we almost got ourselves in trouble. But... It's fine. Alright, can I speak with you, sir? You waiting for your chauffeur to pull around the dinghy? <clears throat> Dick. I don't like him. Can I go up? Boop. <laughs> you know how tempting it was. I actually want to go back and open that box. But from the way the Anarchs were saying it, I think they convinced me not to. I know we said we were going to open that box, but thanks to Jack explaining what, like, even he is thinking, you know, don't touch the box. I don't know. Maybe we'll go back and do it. <laughs> So sad that I didn't go do it. All right, let's go ahead to the last round. So second street is where the cab is, right? Hopefully we can find a snack on the way. I know I said that before, but I'm always looking for snacks. I am rolling. It's fine. Oh, uh, cab. Not Whoa. Today. Excuse me. You grunted at me, you jerk. Where to? Just drive. Bah, humbug. Hey! Hey, look who it is! Hey, hey girl! I, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to. I'm in your debt. Damn I want straight to you are. I help you. I owe you my life and. I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? I secretly stole you, looked at your information and know exactly who you are, dear. You're not weirding me out. <laughs> hard to do. That's hard to do most nights. You look much better. I'm glad. Only because of you. What you did for me. Here, I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. You're just a little creepy, darling. But I've heard you give good body armor, so... Of course. I would love for you to stay with me, dear. Really? 
I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I don't want to be <sighs> important to you. This is what ghouls are like. It's creepy. Uh, Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's too dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care blood. of whatever you want. It's the blood. I'd do anything for it's you. It's the blood. It's a cool thing. My dear Heather, what did I ever do without you? I'll see you later. Fucking ghouls, man. Alright, let's go to the last round and talk to um, Jack a boy and Nines and them. It's the right way right now. Nope, it is the other way. So we now have our very own um, ghoul. Because that was a good idea. Just remember, you know, ghouls are important. And the only reason she's talking that crazy is because she is blood bond to me. It's not. Well, it is very creepy. But it's fine. And all them people using payphones. We don't even have payphones anymore. Well, I think there's like one payphone in the city. There we go, last round. Friends, Jack, Jack, so friends. What'd you find out? It was a slaughter. Whatever was in that sarcophagus, it killed everyone. No kidding. Well, I guess there's got to be something in there then, huh? The Camarilla's gonna be scraping for answers when this gets out. Do you think it it was an ancient? Do you believe the legend? It's in the air, all right. I've been around longer than most kids. I've felt the change in the past few decades. It's in the blood. We're racing towards something and picking up speed all the time. All right, yeah, I smell what you're cooking. You've seen the evidence with your own eyes. You're caught up in all of this. I know. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not down with the prince. What should I do? <laughs> Buck up, you know, I told you, man, you do what you gotta do. Why is it always me? Well, I bet he's gonna hold you up one day as an example of what the Camarilla can do for the wayward and lonely. It's a bunch of crap, but hey, good for you. But I won't decide with the Anarch. Should I be helping him? An educated young kindred like yourself, carefully placed within the ranks of the Camarilla, can do a lot for the Anarchs, I bet. Your choice. Ain't it nice to have some choice? Just be your own dead-ass self. Play the game, kiddo. Just keep your eyes open. You hear me? <laughs> you can help everyone. Play the out. game. Was that to me or to the character? I just wish I knew what all of this was leading. Where are you headed now? I don't know. I got to go talk to LaCroix. You do what you gotta do. Thanks, Jack. I'm gonna check in with Nines and see if he's gonna say real fast. Hey, Nines. Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. Uh, tell me what I need to know. Weren't you paying attention before? I don't repeat myself. All right, tell me about yourself. Came to California to get out of the Dust Bowl during the 30s. Been fighting this fight since the 40s when we kicked out the can. I was new to it all back then. Not a whole lot of people from those nights still around. And some of them are. They're just not anarchs anymore. Was it worth it? To keep constantly the fight there? To have to constantly fight to keep LA? That's a stupid question. Freedom doesn't come cheap. It is. It kind of was. Time, you gotta be ready to defend it. A lot of blood's been shed for what we have. Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time to kill, but I doubt it. Time's up. Aww. Come around in a few nights if you're Literally still alive. Literally meant it. Two minutes, so I had two questions. All right, let's go. I guess I could have talked to Damsel, but she's obnoxious. So let's go. Let's go continue our chat with His Royal Highness the Prince. That guy. 
hard. I hate him. I hate him so much. I should be looking for snacks, but I think we're okay right now. And now I have a blood I have a ghoul, so we're good. <laughs> you have to remember to go home every once in a while and we'll be fine. Evening, Missy. You back to see Mr. LaCroix again? Of course, Chunky darling. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. How's it going, Chunk? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I'm sure. I'm sure he appreciates that you're here to protect him. Goodbye, dear. Like, seriously, what the hell, man? Oh, uh, go through this way. Ah! Oh, I heard the elevator ding. Must go talk to his royal highness, Lord Poophead. <laughs> oh, cutscene. I've said all I need to for now. Hey, Strauss! Strauss! Hi, bud! Um, sorry to interrupt, Lord, um, what's his bum? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Everyone on board was massacred, and there weren't any survivors. That's what I saw. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There's blood all over it. Handprints indicated it was opened from within. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Yeah, one of them was my regent, dude. Yes, and who are they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, a Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's uh -oh. appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. A house call to a goddamn shut-in. <laughs> I won't... Uh, oh, uh, okay, okay. I got I gotta set my line. Okay, maybe, maybe I need to suck up. I'm supposed to suck up to him to get information back to the Anarchs. Certainly. Is that all? Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Thank you, sir. Now about Grout. Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately... So you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. All right. A few questions before I go, if you can, your highness. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. I just want to make sure, like, I've got the information. Which is? Mm, the Sabbat. Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind. Or you would have woken under the ground. Forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Savages, savages. That's not very nice. You never know. They could be nice guys. Actually, they're not because they keep trying to kill me at every possible turn. Um, I have a question about something else. Which is... Okay, that's all my options. Never mind. I'm ready to go see Grouchy. When we hear from Grout... You may come back. Until then. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. Like, screw that guy. Screw this nugget and everything he stands for. And his Magilla Gorilla. Like, just, just, no. I feel like I want to explore downtown a little bit more, though. We definitely are going to go continue onward, but I noticed this room's empty, and I want to know what's up here. Oh, it's just, uh, just around the world. Okay. Something in there. All right. <coughs> so we need to go to Hollywood. A lot of nice stuff is going to open up by us going to Hollywood. Because then we got the Muddy Quest, which would be cool. You know what? Since I no, I no longer have to fight with music, we're actually going to go check this place out a little bit more. Maybe we'll find a snack. Let's go talk to this weirdo. Everybody comes in here's got to have a short house rules. Inhibition's the first thing to go. Do more of these and you'll be telling me your nastiest, dirtiest stories. I am your beat priestess and it's time to confess. And you are? Venus was her name. Got anything you want to confess? I confess that I don't like you too much. Nothing I can actually talk about. No matter how many times I hear that line, it never gets any more believable. So what's your thing, hmm? Stealing from work, sex in graveyards, watching the neighbor's daughter with the lights off? No, nothing like that, dear. Mm, sounds serious. I'm going to need details, so I know whether to pour a Hail Mary or a Highway to Hell. Ooh. <laughs> I voted Republican that one time. I see that, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. If I tell her, you know, if I say I blew up the warehouse, it's not so bad, right? That warehouse that blew up in Santa Monica, that was me. Oh yeah? I've been waiting for someone like you to come in here. You see, I've got this situation that's got no Of course she has mind, a quest. And I need someone to inform some people that they won't be getting paid this month. Intro yet. Go on. As long as it's, you know. Actually, you know what? You've got ten seconds, dear. Well, the parking lot next to the Empire Hotel. Couple of guys, Russian accents, bit thick. I need you to tell them Venus doesn't have their money. That's it. Uh, what's in it for me, darling? Drinks on the house. For a week. I prefer cash. You want cash? Whatever, I can do that. Question is, are you worth it? Definitely. I'll do it. Hmm, I expected you'd bite. Empire Hotel, tell them I'm broke. You can run, right? Never mind, just don't go starting any street fights, alright? These guys are connected. Anyhow, a lot of people have yet to confess to the beat priesters. Later, darling. Alright. Back in a minute. Ta. We need money. We're broke. We are so broke. We have never been so broke. Because we had to buy our own guns back. I wonder if I can get in there. We'll try that later. Let's go back toward the Empire Hotel. Uh, Empire Hotel, Empire Hotel. Uh, this way. Right? Well, actually, no, it's not this way. Empire Hotel. Is it the Empire Arms? Oops, I keep putting that button when I want to push this button. Alright. Venus Dare wants you to go to the Empire Arms Hotel. Alright, we're like right here. Hi! Duh. I said there was a parking lot. Right? Or is it to the Empire Arms itself? Let's go into the Empire Arms. I know she's at the parking lot, so we're just gonna check. Was there something else? No. Alright. It had to be the parking lot. It's in street fights. I don't know why I walked in here. Must listen to the words the nice lady says. We're going over here to talk to a couple of Russians. Because what could possibly go wrong? Hello, gentlemen. I don't have enough blood for this. 
old-fashioned bitch send you? Who wants to... Who wants to know? Money. Where is money? She told me to tell you that she doesn't have your money. No money? Oh! You know what? Let's, let's do this. You already received your money. Go away. Duh. Tell bitch we'll be back next month. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Can I talk Duh. to him again? Tell bitch mm. we'll be back mm. next month. So I don't think that's what Venus wanted us to do. Well, we'll see if our lovely Miss Venus is okay with that. Oops. Right. Sure. Dang it, I hate these doors. Let me in. Bye, may I? Madam Venus. Maybe what? Not. Past your message, darling. I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Right. Tragedy. She is a tragedy. Well, you certainly did better than my bouncer did. Poor dear can't turn his neck to the right anymore. Already had a call from Boris. Wasn't too happy about tonight, son of a bitch. Say, how would you like to get in take that business with hmm? me? I'm afraid I'm not following, dear. Well, to start this club, I have to take out a significant loan from a king bastard by the name of Boris, and every time I haven't been able to make the monthly plus interest, the bastard takes what he feels is a suitable late fee. Go on. I've got a club to run, so I'll be blunt. I refuse to fuck that fat misogynistic old man one more time to hold on to the club. So I need someone to eliminate him. Do this, and I'll make you a silent partner. What's the catch? Boris is high up in the Russian Mafia. Does that make a difference? I don't think it's a good idea. I didn't think this was going to be easy. Do it, I suppose. He's at the Empire Hotel. Of course he is! Always has a few of the fiercest bully boys standing around trying to out each other. He's got a short temper, and more than likely he's been drinking for the last four hours. Here, key to the penthouse level. Alright. When I get back, we are going to talk about cash. Or the club. I didn't, I don't think, did I get, I did get some, did I get cash from her? Uh-huh. I guess once I'm friends with her, then I won't need to worry about that door. But we're gonna go check it out now. Interest. Let's check out her email. Good. Tonight. Thought you might want to get together tonight. Larry. That could be interesting. We're gonna have to talk to her about Larry. Alright, through the doors. Come on. Back to the Empire's arms. Nice Good job. evening to you all. Alright. We're going to the Empire's Arms, which is just over here, now that we know where, where it is. And we're going to go talk to a big, scary Russian man. Alright. Uh, penthouse level. To the elevator, then. Come on. Thank you. We want... Six 
Penthouses are usually on the top floor, right? I mean, LaCroix, LaCroix had, um, had an actual floor. All right, I used the Empire Mafia key. Cool beans. Just in case. Employees only. Can't go through that door. Yeah, like, stop playing with the lock ticket. What? This is the wrong room. What the heck? I'm stuck. All right, hold on, hold on. Come on, blood buff. Use it again. What about this necklace? Twice the duration. Can't read that one. Okay, 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 hold on. of the game because I'm stuck. Alright. Real quick. Dexterity is 8 points. It should help with my lock picking. Hopefully. Then we're going to use the blood buff. Lock the door. Yes. Thank God. What? Bring units into the area to search through the surrounding jungle amidst concerns that ah. it is related to one of a number of southeastern Asian terrorist organizations based in the region. Three American citizens are among the missing. Several dead at a beach oh. house in Santa Monica tonight. We suspect the slings were carried out during a drug deal by a bad. Residents of this one community were shot. That's, uh... F1. I need my sword! I need my sword! Oh boy, I panicked. Alright, we need to equip our sword. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. Alright. Love it. All right. Um, first things first. Equipped that. Holster it. Character. Dexterity. Accept. New quick save. Blood buff. Alright, it's the ballroom. Ballroom. Anything in maintenance, real quick? Oh, would you look at that? There is one of these. I'm not sure why we just killed him, but we did. Ooh. 
I am afraid that I just like broke things. Okay. All right, where's that book that I found though? A very great explosive being stored at the site. Authorities say it that is room. There is some terrorist connection to these events, though they have not ruled out the possibility. All right, I want that book. Stay tuned to Channel 3 for further updates. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. The marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they've never seen it in a couple of They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. A tourist bus destined for the ancient city of Angkor Wat that failed to return Wednesday night was found this morning, though without any trace of its operator or passengers. Cambodian officials have dispatched several military units into the area Come to search me. through the surrounding jungle. Come get me, bud. It's concerned that it is related to one of a number of Southeastern Asian terrorist organizations based in the region. Three American citizens are among the missing. Several dead at the house in Santa Monica tonight. Police suspect. Oh, shoot. There's so many of them? Oh, it's not that way. Ah. Right. We're gonna frenzy so bad. Alright, note to self, grab better snack. Oh. But they're bad guys, so it's fine, right? Shoot. Let's see if this works. Stop smacking the wall. There we go. He did say, um, what's her face did say that, uh, Buddy was surrounded by, like, all these goons. So. Alright, this is the room I came in. So, he's in here. Oh, all in all, we didn't do too bad in that combat. Shut was me. What the hell do you think you're doing? I have business to discuss with you, dear. Well, spit it out. I do not have all goddamn night. She wants her club and she wants you out of her life. Venus sent me, dear. Malin Caius Volach, stupid, spoiled American child. I give her so much and she spits in my face. More blood goodness. You will call off this debt. You want to. You make your point. That is all. Tell spoiled girl she get nothing from me ever again. Thank you. I want that. Oh! You don't like me stealing. Well, I wanted it, so it's mine. So... Bye! Bye! <laughs> 
I just took $200 from that guy. She really will never see you again, you jerk. Alright, let's get out of here. We're done. Not that way. Took care of what was in the ballroom. Laundry. Okay. Ready went through room one. Anything in maintenance? Okay, good. There is a another one of these. Thank goodness for vents, man. This guy in prompting a lockdown of the warehouse district where the explosions took place. Early reports suggest that the warehouse destroyed in the explosion was being used in a weapon smuggling operation, and that the source of the detonation. I'm pretty sure. Came from a military grade explosive. That's the way I went. other maintenance site. Please tell me there's a way out. I don't think there is. Oh, I think I'm trapped. This was room three again. There's gotta be a way out. This just has to be a way out. Okay, thank God. Phew. We're good, everything's fine. Go back to your business. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, guys. That was scary. Ground floor. I took care of your mob boss problem. <laughs> All hail the conquering hero. And I'm very thankful for frenzying in closed rooms with no guests. <sighs> Venus, darling. And there you are. Finished yet? Let's talk in your office, dear. What? Like, don't talk to me with a soft voice. Yeah, I can't hear you. Let's talk in my office. Boris. Dead. That Boris is blood? Guess we're partners then. If you only knew what I had to do over the years to keep this place open. You told me. Tell you what, partner. Come in every few days and I'll give you your cut. Here's tonight. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? Um... You'll see me again. Often. Goodbye. So, I now have the cut of some profits now. Yay. I just jump over the spinny door. I really just like to jump over the spinny door. In! Alright. So, recently we were turned into a vampire. Thrust into this world of complete and utter batshit. And now we have a frequently occurring income. We have all the snacks a girl could want. And yeah, no, I think we're doing pretty good, guys. Hey, there, need definitely a no. What I call a good time. So now we just get to go to the last round, talk to Jack again. Did I do it again? I did it again. It's over here. Next one. This way. 
Oh, and right, we have to go to Mansion outskirts of town. Well, I do want to talk to my, our Anarch friends real fast to let them know about Grout. So every time I talk to the prince, I want to go talk to the Anarchs. I think that's fair. And then we're going to go check on our ghoul, get some snacks. Because, you know, that's what you do if you have a ghoul. You get free snacks. Jack! Hey there, kiddo. What's up? More tests from the prince. Where are you headed now? Um, to find the Mulcavian primogen. So a mouse has gone AWOL. That caught LaCroix off guard. I don't know how he's dodged a hundred years of sunlight. Right? I want to ask you some questions. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Actually, no, I don't. What's on your mind? I'm out here, friend. Just make sure there's hey nothing there, more to... Hey kiddo. What's up? More tasks from the prince? Where are you headed now? Hollywood who? Why? I already told you. Okay, so it was just a, uh, a repeat. Let's go. We haven't talked to Damsel yet. I just want to go make sure she doesn't have anything. Heard anything? I'll let you know what I have. Okay. So Jack is pretty much our liaison into these guys. Next task is to stop by the house. We're also looking for the money we got we want we extorted from that doctor. We need all the money we can get, honestly. And uh, we'll make sure our ghoul settled in. I think that's fair to do. Oh, Mr. Cab Driver. Mr. Creepy, Creepy Cab Driver, dear. Need a ride? Yes, just drive. Alright, so that. We're not actually going to Hollywood yet, which is fine. Alright. It's the hops, bro. Let's go to our place. Uh, which is behind Asylum. We're just gonna refresh our blood supply, check that money, and then we'll go to Grout's Mansion. And then we'll go from there. Alright. Oop, check the money first. Where do we- I'm gonna have to figure out where you find that guy's money. But first... Hello, darling. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting here just like you asked. Your place is, um... Nice. I didn't decorate it here. It's a shithole. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. Um... There is something you should know about me before we go on, dear. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? I'm a vampire. You're my blood servant. Still love me? Uh. No, actually, okay. I think I like number one better. <laughs> no. You survived because of my blood. I'm a vampire. What? Uh... You're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? Not like a blah, blah, vampire, right? Uh, uh. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what I should do with this.
Don't you understand? I've chosen you. You should feel honored, dear. No. No, there's no such thing. You're... This isn't funny anymore. Um... This is creepy. I don't know. <laughs> this is creepy. Do you want to leave me to do some... to love someone else? No. Please, don't leave. I don't care what you are. Just don't leave me. Gotta keep the stacks, man. I'm not going anywhere, pet. Don't worry. What can I do to show my appreciation? This is the creepiest thing ever. Ah um, you have any money? Um, here, here. That's all I've got. All right. Tell me about yourself, darling. Me? I'm not so special, you know. I go to college. I'm majoring in fashion design. I think I'm pretty creative. I just started school a year late because my... My parents died. Um, car crash. I didn't really have anyone special in my life until you came along. Um... How sad. Don't worry, I'm here for you, dear. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, I did say she was snacks, right? Oh, it's so gross. Oh, right, right. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't kill the help. Alright, cool. We did that thing, and that thing was very creepy. Ugh. All right, so now on to crafts. <laughs> I'm so disturbed. All right, cab driver. Cab driver. I was not going to pick the change your appearance option because she can wear what she wants. She's a person. Hop in. Sure, why not? Go out to mansion. Things to do as a fledgling. Nines! What are you doing here, man? You. You. What are you doing here? That's a different message. Hey, Nines, what's up? Out now. Are you looking into Grout's disappearance as well? You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. It's not really Nines. Um, what is in Why? What's inside Nines? I got caught on something. I mean you no harm, lady. Uh... Alright, I think we're gonna have to... don't like the idea of using these things. Uh, 
But... Ow! Are you a knock? What's going on? Alright. What is going on here? See, it's a good re good thing we went in and got a snack. Cause this place done got nuts. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology Is time and he's again gone in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. <sighs> no, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the to correct cure combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. All right, let's go check, see if I can get under here. Let's deal with him. This is creepy and I do not approve. Actually, can we? Okay, good. Alright. Pick up that. Perception at one shapes the mind, rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception, and time warps the mind. Mind is capricious, having various effects on perception. Okay. Alright, um. What about this? Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time insane asylums. I lament their loss, not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychoses, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams. Okay, okay, okay. Time. The muttered cursing at perceived the mind, enemies. The mind. Perception. And the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized. Perception at like once a shapes the baby mind. Discovering the sky. Hmm. Huh. I shall still find test subjects as surely as Perception I find bloody sustenance the in the night. Rules over but time, this climate, however. I fear, may never be replicated. Perception, time, whoops. Perception, time, mind. Right. 
Oops, I keep doing that. Okay. Then what? Okay, can I turn them all off? Perception. There we go. I see. All right, we're gonna quick save just in case something tries to kill us all. Must be a way out. Alright, we'll come back to that. Now let me go for that door. Insane asylum. Oh, shoot. Come on, big guy. Ooh, ow. all these people into vampires? I have so many questions. Like, so many. Oh, boy. Uh. Oh, don't. Nope. Gotta get out of that. Gotta get out of this knife-crazy sandwich. Back away. Going for another round. All right. Whew. So we came through that door. So that door's locked. That door's locked. That door's locked. All right. Where did that open? Upstairs, maybe. I'm not gonna hurt you. Well, I am gonna hurt you, but you know. Oh, this was how we got in. Man, the Sigmund guy, man. I know I should be blocking and moving and stuff, but I'm not good at combat. Okay, there we go. Very glad we got a snack here, guys. Very, very glad we got a snack. All right. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview. A few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Wow. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess in there. Alright, that guy's gonna get up. Or not. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui <sighs> as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. 
How many nights? What are you, Edgar Allan Poe? Gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Buddy. Buddy. Alright, I should be coming up to him soon. Uh, come on. Up, up. Oh, that's so clippy. Wow. Hollywood Hills, man. Look at all the penthouses. And the city below. It's so pretty. Let me holster this so I can walk down the stairs without so much clipping. Come on, sweetie. Oh, fighting on the stairs never really works. I don't appreciate that this guy just kind of like made all these insane people. Like, dude. What is your problem, you Sigmund Freud wannabe? I know I'm basically fighting my own kind right now. I should be being more careful. What? Turn around! Ah! Oh no. Oh no. I need blood. I need it. I need it in my life. Send her flying, so she's gone. Oh boy. Oh, oh we're gonna frenzy in here. <laughs> oh boy. Um, inventory? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die, but we're gonna keep going. Oh shoot. Final death! Oh boy. Load. Load. Drop my blood. Give me more blood. I regret doing that. But this is the best place to frenzy, right? We're in a Malkavian insane asylum? Why'd your voice change, lady? Okay. Weird. <laughs> Anybody else in here? No. Okay, good. We need some time to regen. Who dis? Okay, so this room can be opened. Complete with another damn candle. Wait. Well, this gives me some time to regenerate, so... And cheat my frenzy. I don't approve. So much clipping, I don't like it. Alright. 
I say don't pick the side rooms? Don't know if there's somebody actually there. Well, I know there's someone actually there because I can hear it. Oh god, no! Not Frenzy! I mean, that's fine. I'm not It's It's easier this way, right? This is so cheap. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently <gasps> made contact. Man. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of like Some Malkavian vampire studying vampires Through numerous psychology? official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking mm. and my in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the King's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. All right. Um, pardon me, I just had a phone call. I just decided to ignore. All right, there's two chicks here. We're going to try if we can... Can we feed off the other one? Nope. I should have tried to stealth kill the other one now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, gangrel. Or... Is he a NOS? I can't tell. Like, I think he's a Nos, but he just might be dressed in gimp clothes. Right. Come on, Grout. Come out, come out, wherever you are, buddy. I just want to have a conversation with you, man. You're kind of breaking the masquerade on multiple angry levels. Do you understand? Alright, so this is definitely the way back. I, I don't... I don't want to hurt you, bud. But you need to listen. Okay. Chaos, like the mind, can be understood in only significant process. Order, however, is only good as perception. Therefore, time is the key that links the two and bears witness to the ebb and flow. Okay... One I have the accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian, He's the dreadfully winsome label applied to chaos. the particular strain of vampirism I suffer, so named for some supposed vampire father figure of old, more poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter. For I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. 
Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. Uh, As they courted me. me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language <sighs> these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Do you believe they're just as crazy as Whether I do, Whether it grow? is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society the of darkest least. night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. Ebb and flow. Alright. Wait, maybe... There we go. Big guy. I guess I'm going down there. I hate to like be the bear of crazy, but this is insane. I mean, it's a Malkavian thing, so. Crazy isn't awful. And I don't usually use my phone while I'm recording. I apologize. Um, the current state of the world is m doing things to my to my recording time. Okay. Let's just turn that off. Maybe. that one off. Don't touch the lights. Turn this one off. Okay. Cool. Turn that one off. Okay. Turn that one off. There's one there, okay. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. All right. Forward and onwards. Into the breach, dear friends. Unlocked the inner sanctum. Yay. All the quick saves because I have no idea what's going to happen. I also only just now realized my camera is in a different position than it usually is. Uh, whoops. <laughs> it's supposed to be up there. But I guess this isn't a bad spot for it either. Alright, where... Wait, is this inner sanctum over here? I'll admit, I'm not actually sure where his inner sanctum is. This door? No, this is the library. I want to go through there. Should be over here. Yeah, it's right here. All right, 
this guy's insane. Uh, I suppose that's fair. Dang it. Alright. Um, don't approve that the fact that uh, there's still some guys around. As I expand my dealings with the vampire government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Frequently, in conversation, I will hear voices emanating from other vampires, voices that are not their own, but which seem to have insight into their lives beyond what I could gather from simple conversation. Yeah, you're a Mulcavian. You can read minds, bud. Voices seem to echo from deep within my fellow vampires, and I cannot be certain if this symptom yes. belongs to my... All this, in my body. For the voices are various and inconsistent. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of weakness. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I... Oh no! The information the voices have given me ranges from curious to... The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the interests of self-preservation. Self-preservation? There's so many in this room. All right, there's nothing really in this room. So I think we're just gonna, just gonna leave that room where it is. Let's go down the stairs. Come on, Grout. Oh, there's another one. And another one. Oh my goodness. Come on. There we go. Just gonna pick this lock, ignore that guy. It's gonna. Oh god! No! No! I should probably use some of my Tremereness. But I'm just a big fan of swords! Oh. I did not expect for this sequence to be going on so darn long. Ooh, I'm gonna take all that. All of that. The mind is a mage, or the mind is a maze, and a maze inspires mind. The labyrinth beyond this door, reactions of test subjects to weird environments can be studied easily with that vampire invisibility power of mind. Okay. Back out. There is going to be a lot of frenzy in this episode. Alright, but unfortunately I do not like doing this, but our time is very limited today. We're going to continue exploring this floor because it feels like this is going to go on for, well, going to go on for a while. So in our next episode we will get deeper, 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 deeper into this asylum. And then we'll see what happens next. Um, if you like this video, like like it. The button down there, right there, somewhere. Um, comment down below if you have any tips, tricks, or anything else that you would like to tell me. To help me help you <laughs> in whatever version. Oh, I'm spending way too much time with um, the psychologist grout, I feel. Um, share this video. Subscribe if you haven't before. Ring the bell, all that nip, 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 nip. And don't forget to check me out Wednesdays and Fridays on Twitch at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I interact with you guys while I play games instead of this edited down content. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing well, especially in these ter troubled times. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye! 
Thank you guys so much for watching. You looking for more? Well, to your left, you will find the most recent video. And beside it, recommended to you by robots. And don't forget to subscribe right there. We'll see you guys next time.